Hey y'all, good morning. Good morning, good morning. I'm trying to get everything set up. Happy Monday. I'm gonna give everybody a few minutes to jump on here. I know it has been an eventful morning for a lot of people. <laughs> so I wanna make sure I give you time to get your second or third or fourth cup of coffee. Um, this morning before jumping on here for our devotional. Whew. If you're watching the replay, we're giving everybody a few minutes to come on, but like, man, I've already been up for a hot minute this morning. How about y'all? Were y'all up with all the tornado warnings and bad thunderstorms and all of that? Because that was, that was fun at times this morning, needless to say. Good morning. For those of you that are on my um, personal Facebook, I wanted to also shoot y'all a reminder that we are doing these devotions every morning, Monday through Friday on the Quest Facebook page. Um, so I know you're tuning in with me, but I also want to make sure that you can tune in to all the other ones throughout the week as well with that. Well, I hope you guys are doing well. For those of you um, I know Columbia County was pretty good, but if there's any of our viewers that are in um, Burke County or some of those other areas, let us know that you guys were okay um, from all the storms and everything this morning. What a way to wake up on a Monday morning. Um, it was crazy. It was also crazy because I'm not used to seeing so many of y'all on Facebook at 5 a.m. <laughs> so that was kind of nice. Uh, I'm not going to lie with that. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get started. You know, today is Monday, but it's also the Monday after Easter. And I spent a lot of time really thinking about that um, this morning as I was getting ready for this. And I was like, you know, what now? Like, what, what do we do now? Like, okay, like Easter happened and Easter was kind of different this year. And so, so what, what happens now with the story? Like, okay, Jesus is alive. Now what? And this is actually probably one of my like favorite parts of the story um, is that back when Jesus rose from the dead and so he is alive and he's running into people um, as he's like walking down the roads and he's just up here. Um, and so people are like, is he alive? Is he not? Like the women are starting to talk around town and things like that. And the, the guys are like, these women are crazy um, because they're saying that this guy that was dead is now alive. And, um, we think he said something about that. Like Jesus was kind of talking some crazy stuff towards the end of his life, but like, we're not really sure what's going on. And so I was like, what's the rest of the story? Like, what would it have been like to have been a disciple back then? So a disciple was just Jesus's followers, his like best friends. There were 12 of them. They were hanging out um, for the time that he was here on earth. And so what would it have been like to have been them? And on like Easter Monday. So like, the Monday after that word is going around town that he is alive. And um, so they're slowly getting to them. And what I love and what we're going to talk about today is what they experienced and what I think we experience a lot of times too. And the main word that I'm going to, that stuck with me is doubt. Um, doubt was something that the disciples were very familiar with because they were like, they knew the game plan friends. This is mind boggling to me. The disciples knew the whole plan. Jesus was like, hey, by the way, um, I'm going to die, but I'm not really like going to be dead, dead because I'm going to like come back to life after a few days. Like he tells them this whole story. He has this final dinner with them. He like lays out the plan and then he dies and they start freaking out and they're sad because they forget the whole plan. They start doubting the whole plan. And I was thinking about that as we read the scripture, because right now I keep telling God, like, I just need to know your plan. Like, can you just tell me like what all we're supposed to be doing? Like, can you let me in on like why this whole coronavirus thing is happening and why we're in our homes? Can you like, let me know the whole plan? Because I'm not really sure what you're doing. And I'm kind of doubting you right now. And I don't have peace. And I'm just like all over the place. So what's, and I, I think the disciples were probably saying the same thing on Saturday, Sunday, and even Monday. They're going like, what's the whole plan? And I think Jesus was like, I told you the plan. 
I told you the plan and you're still doubting me. You still are thinking I'm not alive. And I was like, oh. So God was like, Sarah, I really don't have to tell you the whole plan. Because even if I told you the whole plan, we'd still be here anyways. And I was like, okay, fair enough with it. So I want to read you the scripture. The scripture comes from Luke. And it is when um, Jesus is still like appearing. I mentioned that. He's like appearing everywhere. And people are like, oh my goodness, he's alive. And so here, this, this is from Luke. And I'm going to be, uh, let's see, we're in chapter 24 starting at verse 36. If you have your Bible, you can follow along with me. It says, while they were still talking about this, Jesus himself stood among them and said to them, peace be with you. Well, they were startled and frightened, thinking they saw a ghost. He said to them, why are you troubled? And why do doubts rise in your minds? Look at my hands and my feet. It is I myself. Touch me and see me. A ghost does not have flesh and bones as you see that I have. And when he had said this, he showed them his hands and feet. And while they still did not believe, it was because of joy and amazement, he asked, do you have anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of broiled fish and took it and ate it in their presence. He said to them, this is what I told you. Remember, while I was still with you, everything must be fulfilled that is written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets and the Psalms. Okay, this is why I love Jesus is he's literally like, hey, I'm here and they're freaking out. And he's like, hey, peace. You need to have peace. Peace be with you. And then he asked the question, like, why do you have doubt? Why, why are you doubting me in this? And friends, I want you to hear that even as if he's talking to us right now, that if he's appearing to us, he is literally here with us and he's going, he's telling you in your home right now, I know things were even crazy this morning and he's going, peace, peace be with you. Why do you have doubt? in your mind. And here's what it told me. It says, man, y'all, what keeps us from peace, what keeps us from peace every single time is doubt. And what doubt is, is doubt is fear. Doubt is being afraid. Doubt is not fully trusting in something. And if we continue to have doubt, we will continue to have fear and we won't have that peace that we've been longing for for so long. And so I will tell you this, Jesus is saying today, just like he was thousands of years ago, he is saying, peace be with you. And don't let those doubts rise up in your mind. And then what I love about Jesus is he's literally telling them all this, they're freaking out and he's like, hey, can I eat with you? Hey, can I do this thing that's so mundane, so ordinary, so all of it? Because that's who he is. So think about that even this morning when you're having meals, when you're having breakfast and then lunch and then dinner is he is right there with you. He is in your home and he is saying what's standing in the way between you and him is your doubt. And so free your minds of that doubt this morning so that then you can experience that peace. So friends, I hope that was helpful for you this morning, especially in the midst of our crazy start with everything. And I also want to have a reminder for you guys is that tonight on Quest Church, we are going to be having prayer. So it's right at seven o'clock tonight. So make sure you tune into that. Bring all your prayer requests and um, your Thanksgivings and your praises, all of that. And if you didn't know, it is our senior pastor, John Kenny's birthday today. So right after this, if you would go and send him a whole bunch of happy birthday post, that would be amazing. But before we go, I would love to pray for us. So let's pray together. Heavenly Father, God, I admit that even this morning I woke up and I woke up experiencing everything but peace. Because, Father, the doubt creeps into my mind, and I sometimes just don't believe that you're going to do what you say you're going to do, which is crazy, God, because you have proven to me over and over and over again that you are the ultimate promise keeper and that you hold true to your word. So, Father, I pray today, today on this Monday morning, that you would free our minds of doubt so that we can have peace, peace in you because god that's what we want that's what we desire and so god be with us today help us stay rooted in you and connected to you whether it's from reading scripture or praying or all of it throughout the day god we thank you for who you are and that you sent jesus 
to be with us and that then not even a grave could hold him, but that he would rise again. God, we love you and it's in your son's name I pray all these things. Amen. Amen. You guys have an awesome Monday.